Hola amigos, today I'm gonna be showing you my favorite alfajores. They're my ultimate alfajores. They're my three favorite alfajores to get here in Lima, Peru. So I'm gonna walk you through what they are and where they're from. We've got here the honey alfajores from a place called El Buen Gusto. normal caramel or dulce de leche alfajor from La Confitería. This one is an alfajor cake from El Golf Club. So the first one I'm gonna show you is this delicious honey alfajor from El Buen Gusto. It's got three different layers of pastry. That pastry has some aniseed through it, and then it's got some sticky chancaca honey in the middle of those layers. And the chancaca honey is made with cinnamon, with cloves. It's got a very delicious flavor profile, very similar to that of the turrón de Doña Pepa. Look at those layers. Look at the sticky honey in the middle. Let's try the alfajor from El Buen Gusto. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. The pastry is a little bit harder than a normal alfajor. That flavor you get from the chancaca honey, it's got the cinnamon and the cloves through it and it's super sticky and the pastry is beautiful, it still has a bit of texture, but it dissolves in your mouth as well. Wow, that is such an interesting and unique alfajor. The second one I'm gonna try is the one from La Confiteria. Now, this one is your normal, traditional alfajor with that shortbread type of pastry and in the middle, the dulce de leche or the manjar blanco. So, in La Confiteria, I just wanted to show you how they sell them in two different sizes. The medium-sized alfajor and then your normal little alfajores. So let's try the medium sized alfajor. Oh, just look how that breaks apart straight away. Oh, yes. Look at that big and thick layer of dulce de leche. It looks like it's so short and buttery and crumbly. Let's try it. Mm. Mm -hmm. That pastry is beautiful, it still holds its shape, so you can break it apart and it doesn't completely dissolve. It's still got a bit of texture, which is nice. And that dulce de leche is beautifully delicious, sweet, gooey. It's really nice and caramelized. You know, you can see that dark color. Oh, this is delicious. And the last alfajor that made it into my list of top three is the alfajor cake from the Lima Golf Club. Now, this is a very, very special alfajor. It's a cake, so it's got so many layers. It's got five layers of pastry, and then it's got a manjar blanco. It's not really a dulce de leche because it hasn't caramelized, but it's, 
It's a manjar blanco, a caramel that they've made in the pot, but it's still white. So let's give it a try. Oh, look at all those layers. Whoa, it just breaks apart. The spoon just glides through. Oh my God, look at that. This is incredible. All those layers, as soon as you put your spoon through it, just glides through it. And that manjar blanco, you would think that it's super sweet because it's not dark in color, but it's actually not. It's perfect and creamy. It's actually a little bit milkier. And the layers of pastry, they, they're a bit shorter than any of these. So the layers of pastry in this um, alfajor cake, they kind of, crumble a bit more it dissolves it in your mouth a bit more but wow oh my god i if you asked me which one was my favorite like i couldn't choose they're all so unique i love the honey one i love the traditional confiteria one and i absolutely love the alfajor cake from El Golf. So that's it, guys. These were my top three alfajores. Hope you guys get to try them at some stage if you ever travel to Peru. Adios, amigos.